Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I will be taking out my month old braids. Listen you guys, I truly did vow to myself that I would routinely take care of my hair every two weeks. Um, I dropped the ball this time. Listen, January was such a very hectic, overwhelming, stressful month. I had a lot to do this month or last month. January was very hectic, but honestly, I'm very grateful for all, all of the opportunities I got that month. But wow, like January just hit me like a bus. I had to like redo my whole routine since I started working out again. And you know, after I work out, I like try to go straight into what I gotta do. I just like truly didn't set aside any time to take care of my hair like my braids looks so rough but you know i love watching these videos on youtube i love watching people take down their old braids i love seeing people scratch their dandruff off like oh my god like like that's just so satisfying <laughs> listen if you're into pimple popping videos google dandruff scratching videos oh my gosh it's like nasty but like satisfying anyways so boom my braids been sitting under my head wrap for a whole month. The last time I washed my hair was literally January 2nd, and it's now February 4th, Monday. Yeah, Monday, February 4th, but you guys won't see this video till Wednesday. So without further conje, if you are interested in seeing my month old braids and watching me take them down, and just to see what they look like, cause woo, honestly haven't even looked at my braids i just kind of throw on my head wrap and go it stays up under a bonnet and then a head wrap goes on top and i've been working out like ew that's so disgusting Aaliyah. <laughs> then subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads and when you tap that bell an option will <laughs> pop up click on options and ensure all notifications are enabled including my creator posts and stay tuned keep on watching and i hope you enjoy this video okay let me take off this head wrap Woo! y'all gonna see i've been working out there's probably a bunch of sweat residue in my braids uh. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I love watching these videos though. Ooh, these bobby pins are killing me. Like it's just, I don't know. It's just very like therapeutic, I guess, watching people like do self-care and hair care and all that stuff. Shower videos, oh my gosh. Skincare routines. By the way, I need to update you guys on my Korean skincare usage. I need to film that next. That'll probably go up Friday. I put this bobby in tight. Listen, my head wraps be almost falling off during my workouts, so I gotta really tack these down now because that's so embarrassing. Imagine my month old braids being exposed in gym class. Like, oh my gosh. And people assume my hair is this big, like the volume of my head wrap. People assume my hair is that big, and it's not. So I don't wanna disappoint them yet. I want them to continue thinking my hair is this big, okay? We cannot, we cannot reveal the gel braids to my people. Oh no. Ooh, I did really see. Okay, woo, I secured that. Okay, so what, two weeks from today, I really need to wash my hair again. I just, I need to wash my head wraps. Boom, so this is, this is what it be looking like, y'all. I don't even be looking at my braids. Like, that's so bad, I know. It just stays in a bonnet, but oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so busted. Hold on, thumbnail. So these are what my braids are looking like. The front is very, they don't look that bad though. The front is very frizzy. This is my soft spot in case you're new to my channel and you have not seen my previous hair videos, okay? We have a soft spot right here. Um, You guys, that oil, that was from the Organic Grow Hair Co. Company. That oil didn't even last long. Like I finished it in like two weeks and it didn't even do anything. I, I have no apparent hair growth situation. It just, it looks the same. So I'm going to be using their Redo Pre-Poo. Boom, boom, bam. Let me get a close up. Boom, their Redo Pre-Poo. It's basically a deep conditioning oil that you leave in for six to 12 hours and then you, before you wash your hair and then you wash it, then you wash your hair and rinse this out, okay. <sighs> so I'm gonna keep my rubber bands just cause um, it's easier to section this. So I'm gonna take my braids out and I'm also going to be spraying this 
Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment made with coconut milk and um, Acacia, Acacia Senegal, Acacia, I don't know girl. I be pronouncing stuff wrong and y'all be like, Aaliyah, it's pronounced this way. I've never heard it pronounced that way, my bad. Okay, let's take these braids out. I'm gonna spray this in after I take my braid out and then we're going to put this on our scalp and then from root to tip. So these are what my month old braids look like. Why does my head look so flat right here? Is that normal? Has it always been this flat? I never noticed it. Is it this flat on this side? Hmm, I never noticed it. I haven't been wearing any wigs. I just keep it in braids because I truly don't like dealing with my hair. I really don't. I wish I was that type of natural girl who loved experimenting with their hair, but I'm just not. I don't have the patience for my natural hair. And you know when you be seeing those tweets that are like, you need to learn to love your hair. And then someone replied, listen, and I agreed with it. They were like, listen, type four hair, not everyone wants to deal with it. And I'm just like, preach, I don't want to deal with it either. It's tangly, you always have to detangle it. You constantly have to care for it. You constantly have to keep it moisturized. You constantly have to put oil in it. Oh my gosh, and the detangling process while I'm washing my hair is so tedious. And it hurts because I'm tender headed. <laughs> I just don't like dealing with it. I would rather my hair be in braids all the time and I could just wear wigs and head wraps. I don't like dealing with it. My hair is hard to manage and I'm just, I wanna, I'm learning to love it, but I'm still, I still just don't like dealing with it. We not that tangly, we looking pretty good. This is my soft spot. I'm trying to regrow hair in this area. I already used up the, the scalp treatment oil from Organic Grow Hair Co. If you watched my initial video on that, already used it up. No hair growth. I put it directly onto my scalp. Nothing happened. I'm still using their shampoo and conditioner, which, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is the best stuff ever. It's not that impressive to me. But I'm gonna just use it all up because um, I'm just like a person who doesn't like to waste product. Usually I got build up in here, but maybe I don't. Oh, let's see. We got a little bit of... A little bit of... Okay, my scalp don't look half bad. Oh, wait, what am I... My scalp don't look half bad. She doesn't even look dry. Yes. I was oiling my scalp for about two weeks into having braids, and then the last two weeks, I haven't been... I haven't even looked at my braids, you guys. Okay, let's spray this. This makes the detangling process easier. I actually really like this Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment. It smells nice. It works well. I really like it. We are gonna see how much hair, ow, see how much hair loss we have. Ow. Boom! That's just from one section. Now I'm gonna keep this section because I'm gonna put this redo pre-poo, so it's just easier. And we're gonna leave this in. What time is it? It is um almost 4 p.m. Four plus six is 10, so I'd have to rinse this out at 10 p.m. That's fine. I can do that. Ooh, yes. Drench this scalp. Y'all, you guys want more natural hair videos? I'm trying to deliver, but you know, I'm just not a, maybe I could experiment with styles, but I always end up hating them. I always look like a little girl. I would rather do like a faux ponytail. That's cute. Twist outs are cute, but they only last like one day. You gotta keep redoing it. Let's get into that scalp. And then those other complicated natural hair styles are just not up my alley. It's not something I like to do. I don't even enjoy working with my hair. So I don't know if you guys will get something like that. Maybe if I'm feeling inspired to try something like that, maybe. But I'm just letting you know what's not up my alley. And usually when stuff don't be up your alley, like at, off camera, I'm a regular regular person. Like don't, like don't you have things that not, are not up your alley? I feel like when you are on YouTube and you are now a content creator, um, people put so much pressure on you to always do new stuff that is something you don't like to do. Like, at the end of the day, I am a regular girl um, who likes what she likes. If I'm feeling compelled to, like, makeup and fashion, that's my lane where I will want to try, you know, new styles and new makeup styles and, but like hair, my real hair, wigs, I like to try new stuff, but my real hair, it's not something I like to try new stuff with. Cause I can't just take my hair off and put it on a wig head and work with it. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could do that, but I can't. Now we're just gonna make a simple twist and work onto these next sections. Maybe I should make my hair care routine more enjoyable because it's just not an enjoyable process. 
like detangling my hair, washing my hair, shampooing it and conditioning it in the shower and being in the shower for an hour and I just feel like that's such a waste of water. I mean, I could do it in the sink, but like sometimes dishes be in the sink. I don't feel like doing the dishes just to wash my hair. <laughs> I don't know. I need to make it more therapeutic. Or listen, when I get some shmoneys, I'm going to hire someone to take care of my natural hair. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm fenced to do. Boom, we reused the rubber band. Shout out to my rubber bands not breaking. They literally lasted a whole month. That's what's up. I know it kind of feels like, it kind of does feel weird putting like oil on dirty hair. But hey, this thing says do it before you wash your hair, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm basically just gonna do the same thing to the other sections, um, so I don't really have much to say. So I'll just speed through this, cause I know some this is a little you know therapeutic for others to watch, cause I like watching this stuff. There is tequila in here. Yes, I know it's Monday, honey, but listen. <laughs> Should we chat? No, huh? I don't feel like talking no more. I'm over it. I'm over talking. Like, I'm just not a talker. You guys would think I'm a talker, but I'm really just not. I like to keep to myself, which is probably why I don't have good social skills. I love the look of twists. Like, ugh, they just look so good. It just looks healthy. Like, your hair looks healthy and hydrated in a twist. I love the way twists look.
y'all so my braids are completely taken out i drenched my hair in this pre-poo i know my hair looks crazy but you know it like it doesn't matter because it's just for deep conditioning purposes anyways this is how much hair is in my brush ah! oh my gosh fun fact i hate dead hair like i mean i know it has to happen but i hate seeing hair on the floor i hate seeing hair in a brush like i don't know it just kind of creeps me out like ugh, it just makes my skin crawl I hate seeing hair in the shower. I just hate seeing dead hair. It's just, cause I remember one time I was in high school and this girl was brushing out her hair and she took all of the dead hair out of the brush and just threw it on the ground. Like, ew, why would you do that? That's so disgusting. Oh my gosh, I'm, tr okay, anyways. The last thing I have to do, I don't have any like plastic shower caps. So <laughs> taking a grocery bag and we're gonna tuck my braids into this. Perfect. <laughs> I just do this so, uh, well, my sisters know, but if you don't have my hair type, I'm doing this so, like, the heat for my scalp really allows this oil to, like, penetrate my hair shaft and my scalp. So I don't want the heat from my, like, head to escape. I want it to, like, work to, like, condition my hair. And then, you know, I'm just gonna place my bonnet on top boom you guys where can i get like cute bonnets from like you know jackie's bonnets like jackie Anna's bonnets like where can i where does she get those from like she's probably said it once but i just missed it and i don't want to be that annoying person to ask her <laughs> it says to leave this on for six to twelve hours i'm gonna do six hours because i ain't got no time for 12 okay <gasps> And I gotta go to the gym tomorrow, so I wanna wash my hair, condition it, probably put in twist outs. But maybe I'll see if my sister is up to braiding my hair again, cause you know, I don't feel like dealing with it. But you know, this is how I take out my braids. Well now, this is like my new routine, putting in this pre-poo until I find another like deep conditioning treatment before you wash your hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, but please refrain from like giving me, trying to tell me how to do my hair like, <sighs> sis, I mean, I know it comes from a good place. Like you would think, oh, Aaliyah, just wash your hair in the shower. No, 
okay, when you a sister, okay, you have type four hair, it's not as simple as just washing your hair in the shower and going on about your day, okay? It's a process, like doing my hair is such a process. It's such a process. I be so real on camera for y'all, like I be looking straight up busted. You've seen my hair in its worst state. And if you are new here, and this is the first time seeing my face and being on my channel, I would love to see you in the next one. Subscribe right to my channel and join me and the honeys, honey. I love you guys so much. And until next time, always remember <laughs> to serve, honey. Even when you look busted, okay? I mean, <laughs> and I will see you on Friday's upload. Bye.